In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a database in Microsoft Access. In this, how to create tables, create relationships between them and how to create a simple query. We will see that in this video. So let's get started. So the first thing, as soon as you open the MS Access, what you can do is you can create a blank database if you want to create a new one or you can open the existing database if you have already created okay so let's create a blank database let's click on blank database here after that it will ask you what name you want to give for example i want to create a database for a cafe so i will give it a name cafe After you give it a name, then you will see this screen. So here now you have one table. It creates a table automatically. In this example, we are going to create two tables for cafe database. We can have two tables. For example, one is customers and another will be orders. So if you want to create a table, we can create it by going to create from the top of the menu you will find here in the ribbon create table but since i have one table here already i will just right click and save it and i will give it a name customers and then i'll click on ok and one more table i want to create so i will go to create and then table and here now you can see that one more table has been created i will right click it save and give it name orders and click on OK. So now I have two tables. Now let's set its structure. What are the fields that should be there in the table? So first in customers table, we can have is customer ID. I'm using underscore here for customer ID. If you want, you can skip the underscore and directly write ID customer ID. Okay, so after that you have to select the data type. What data type you want for customer ID? So the number is appropriate in my case. It is as per your requirement, as per the question or as per your requirement for which you are creating the database. So customer ID in this case can be a number. It can be short text also in some cases. Okay, so depending on your needs, you can select the appropriate data types. So here you can see that there is a key symbol. This field is a part of table's primary key. That means customer ID, that is the first field of the table is automatically assigned as a primary key. Now what is a primary key? Primary key is a unique field in a table that cannot have same values. That means once you assign a customer ID to one customer, that cannot be given to other customer. So it's a unique thing like we have roll number for the students one roll number can be given to only one student okay it cannot be repeated so the same thing it is here the primary key cannot be repeated it has to be unique now let's create second field in the customers table so the customer second field will be customer name so customer underscore name if you directly type the name here for example i will show you if i directly type only name here then you see it will show us the warning that you are using the name that is a reserved word so it is better not to use the reserved word okay so you should use something different customer id we have used so the same way we can give it using underscore customer name so customer name short text it has automatically chosen short text for this the data type of the customer name which is correct so i will not change it after that what we want is phone number of customer so we can write phone underscore number and for this now we need to set it to number okay so this is the structure of the customer table is ready now i will just right click save it 
close it. I will go to the design view of the orders table. So the design view is where you can set the structure, you can add the field name, you can insert a field, you can delete a field, you can change the data type. And when you right click and click on open, that means you can see what is inside that table. What are the records? What is the data inside table? So that we will see later on. First, let's see what we can do here. So inside orders table, we have to give it fields. So for order table, first thing we can have is order ID, which will be unique. Order ID cannot be same for different different orders, right? So here also I will choose number. After order ID, customer ID I am taking. Now why customer ID? Because I want a common field between the two tables. Okay, I will tell you why afterwards. Now let's set it to the same thing number then order id customer id then we need date when the order was placed so i will just write here order underscore date so it will not be conflicted with the reserved keyword so that should be date and time data type right there are many data types you can choose the correct one for your requirement order date should have date and time now the next thing is what is the order amount order underscore amount what is the bill amount so basically for that it should be currency right so now we have created the structure for the order table now we can save it and we can close it let's check what is inside it so it looks like this when it is empty okay before we start entering our record, before we enter the customer ID, customer name, phone number, those details, we should create relationship. Now the question is what is a relationship and how to create it? You can create a relationship by going to database tools, then go to the relationships. So what is a relationship? Relationship is you are linking the two tables. So before we do that, you can see that here it is asking us to add the tables. Let's add customer table first, then order table. After adding them, you can see that you have the both tables on the screen. What is the linking of the tables? Linking of the tables means you are using the same field, common field to create a relationship between the two tables. In this case, you can see that customer ID is the common field between the two tables. That means using this field, I can link the two tables and create a relationship so if i just drag this over this you can see that i have this pop-up box edit relationships so i will check these three boxes okay and click on create and it is giving me error because it is saying that the tables should not be open you can see that tables are open i have to close the table before creating relationship now if i try it and click on check boxes now i am able to create the relationship and you can see that customer id is one and customer id here is many so this is one to many relationship now what is the one to many relationship one to many relationship means it is one here in customers table customer id should be only one unique but customer id can be repeated in the orders table because one customer can place many orders so it can get repeated here in the orders table so we have created relationship what is next now we will just close it we will right click save close it then now we can start entering the records for the tables for customer table let's start entering the record the data of customer let's say i have first customer id as a one then i'm using tab key to the go to the next field that is customer name phone number or you can also use the mouse and click it so customer name let's say tony then phone number we can write here so this is a dummy phone number i'm just adding then after that i'm clicking here I am writing here 2 
okay the next customer id then let's take one more customer steve and let's write the phone number again okay now the third customer and his phone number okay so that's enough okay this gets saved by default but still we will just make sure it is saved now let's open orders table let's start entering the order id in customers id now you cannot enter anything it has to be one of those which you have already entered in the customers that means customer id should already exist in customers table otherwise it will give you error okay so i will choose customer id as one and the order date if i click here you can see that it is showing me some small icon of a calendar if i click on that calendar i can choose the date of the order placed okay you can choose from here or if you want to type manually you can also type manually okay let's set the order amount for this order and then here now i'll enter the next order id 102 then here customer id i'll use the 2 because 2 already exist now in this case i'll enter the date manually so let's set the amount as uh, 60 and let's take the third order id now let's set it as 103 If you notice I have used here one as a customer ID I can repeat that because this is not the primary key here so I can repeat the customer ID as I told you one customer can place multiple orders now let's choose the date okay now the amount so the amount I'll just set it as 100 okay so I think this is enough for the orders table let's save it now we have created two tables successfully and their relationship also is done so now we want to create a simple query now what is a query query means i want to find something inside a table so for example let's say i want to create a query for the customers having order more than 50 rupees so to create a query you have to go to create then query design okay you can also create using wizard but that is a simple one because that you cannot insert the criteria. so i prefer query design you should go to the query design to create a query once you click on the query design you will see this now you should add the tables here you can see and it will show you the same view as relationships if you remember so customer name i will drag here in the fields and order amount from this table i will drag here so basically i want to find all the customer names who have placed order more than 50 rupees here you can see that there is a criteria option in the criteria i will write greater than 50 that means if order amount is more than 50 okay only those customers i want and you can see that the checkbox is checked that means these two columns will be visible when i run the query now how to run the query you can see that in query design it is run option here so click on this command to run your query just click it and you will find steve and tony have placed their order that is more than 50 rupees okay steve placed order for 60 rupees tony 100 rupees that means it is correct our query is working perfectly now if we go back to the query if we want to make some changes let's say i don't want to show the order amount column so i will right click on the query i will go to the design view okay and let's say i don't want to show the order amount but the criteria should be still there so criteria is still there i am not removing the order amount from here i will only uncheck the box from here and you can see that now if i run it i will only see customer names okay 
Now this is done. After that, if you want to save the query, you can right click on the query and save and you can give it a name. Okay, click on OK. And like this, you can see that query is saved. If you are done with everything, if you want to save your database, you can click on this button, save button here. Just click it and database will be saved. Okay, and then you can close these tabs if you want to or you can directly cross the database. I hope you found this video helpful. See you in the next video.